so today we'll be opening up a battery to extract the chemicals inside there are three main things the zinc metal the carbon rod and the magnesium dioxide powder okay so let's start first we'll require some tools to perform this experiment we will require a C-size ever-ready battery, pliers, screwdriver, a wire cutter, and a plastic spoon later. Okay, so let's start. First, we will have to open up the outer metal casing of the battery. So after a few minutes of hard work, you should get a battery without the outer metal cover. Okay, so I did this mainly with the screwdriver and the pliers. It should work for you. Okay, so now our next objective is to take, up, take off the plastic liner. This can easily be achieved by hand. Okay, so now we are left with the outer zinc covering of the battery and the plastic washer. So now we'll remove the cover and now the black carbon rod becomes visible. Now we'll cut open the plastic washer, the black carbon rod. Just remove the plastic washer. And you're left with the carbon rod. Okay, so now all that we should be left with is the outer zinc cover with the inner, uh, inner magnesium dioxide paste left. Using gloves is necessary for the next step. Now we'll be cutting open the zinc casing with the wire cutter. Now all you should be left with is the zinc casing covered with the magnesium dioxide powder. Now, we'll scoop off this powder with the spoon. Additional bits can be scooped off with the screwdriver. So all that is left is the outer zinc covering. The zinc is not pure, but is pure enough for most purposes. The black powder of magnesium dioxide should be stored in an airtight bag. The zinc can be further cleaned by washing with boiling water. The carbon rod should be cleaned of all the sticky glue left on the tip. The MnO2 powder should be scooped up, remove any visible impurities from the powder. MnO2 is slightly toxic so handle it with care. After repeating the process with two cells, all that you should be left with is some zinc metal, manganese dioxide powder and two carbon rods. Click on these three objects to find out what they are useful for. Only non-alkaline, non-rechargeable batteries can be used. Please ensure that you're not using Everready, Duracell or any other rechargeable or alkaline battery. 
all the extracted chemicals and materials should be stored properly 